Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to All Sports West New York. Your old buddy, Bob Kishinsky. It's Easter week. Where else would I be but the Broadway market? We've got some great guests fitting to the week. We have Mike Butchkowski, general manager of the Buffalo Bisons. He'll be here talking about opening day and all the new things at the ballpark. And then Bernadette Pollock, who's in charge of the Dingus Day Parade. That's coming up next Monday. She'll tell us all about it, where the prime viewing spots are. That's coming up on tonight's show. Well, the final four have finally assembled. And on Bucky and Sully Monday night, they sized up the final four teams playing for the national championship. And specifically, Sully, the, I want to talk to you about the Notre Dame Kentucky game because that was it's but it was the best game in the tournament so far and it had the makings of of one that was really going to be remembered if Notre Dame won it it was a fabulous game and you've been there so you know how when you're writing a game live a column it, you almost don't see the whole game but I saw enough to know how wonderful it was and what a great coaching job by Mike Bray I thought they gave them everything they had and easily could have won the game, but you got to give Kentucky credit. And there were three games over the weekend where teams shot like 75% in the second half, which in this year, in the down year of offense, it's it, totally stunning to see this happen. And they shot 75% in the second half of that game. Well, that's what it's going to take. It's going to take a, a Villanova-type performance, I think, to beat that team. And, you know, you look at the Final Four, I like the way that it, that it shapes out right now with Michigan State, although... I broke one of my own rules, and we'll get to that later. Uh, they're in the Final Four with Duke, Kentucky, and Wisconsin. The right teams, I think, are in it, but I still think that Notre Dame, of all the teams in the tournament, had the best chance of beating this Kentucky team. And it played out that way. I mean, they did have a shot. They make the three at the end. It was off balance, you know, double clutch, all that stuff. But that was a team right there that I think could, could handle Kentucky and, and did handle Kentucky and just came out on the wrong end. I agree with you, Bucky. It's not oh, all right. Oh, no, no. You're you getting know, smart. Your I think the reason why is the guards, the defense at the guards. Because it was very difficult for Kentucky to get into their offense because of the, the guards, uh, Jackson, and the guy who was going to be the pro, Jaron Grant, his brother played for Syracuse. Right. They made it very difficult for them. They're not a very good offensive team. And they weren't getting open threes at the start. So they were getting nothing easy until they really started to, de to develop uh, the freshman down there. Towns, he was unstoppable. Right. But I don't think Wisconsin's guards are as quick as those guards. And I think it's going to be easier early for Kentucky's guards to make offense, make shots. And that's why I think you're, you're correct in that. That's, they took their best shot. I really think Kentucky got their best shot there. I mean, they're facing Wisconsin and maybe Duke. It seems crazy to say that Notre Dame could, could have had the best shot. But I think yeah. having survived is going to, their, their best is coming out now. And, of course, you can watch Bucky and Sully every Monday and Friday night live at 6.30 with an encore performance Sunday at 11.30 of their Friday show. Hey, we'll come back from the Broadway market in just a minute. I'll have with me the general manager of the Buffalo Bisons, Mike Butchkowski, as we talk about what's new at the ballpark. We'll be back right after this.